first thing I'm going to do today is to remove the backing off of this couch. This particular couch, um, we found bed bugs during my initial inspection about a week ago. So I'm going to remove the backing here and I'm going to look inside there and uh, do a thorough, thorough treatment inside and underneath the couch. Let's see what's in this baby. Now it's time to treat the cracks and crevices of the couch. Every structure has to be treated. Every little crack and crevice between the wood, the fabric in the wood, the springs in the fabric, under the fabric folds must be treated. Bed bugs are tiny, they can hide in numerous places. That's an engorged bed bug at the end of my finger here. I'm treating all these cracks and crevices. I found a bed bug on the other side here. And I'm not going to be surprised if there's one in here. These holes are critical. Where the springs go into this metal frame, bed bugs could easily hide in there. So we're going to treat the inside of these holes. Treat them all. Take five. I'm using a product called B Force HPX, which is Delta Methrin. It's an aerosol, and I'm going to treat all these cracks and crevices where I found live bed bugs just a minute ago and some skin castings. These are the areas that have to be treated thoroughly. Every crack and crevice must be treated. The aerosol is really handy. The straw tip, great tool. Again, every crack and crevice you can see, you treat. In between the metal, the wood, in the holes where the springs go in, This is what I call a target-rich environment. Lots of signs here. I'm also going to use a contact spray called CB80 Extra. This is a pyrethroid. Gives you great knockdown, so any of the bed bugs that have been pushed out of their cracks and crevices, we're going to kill them. Take your time to be thorough. 